Hey everyone. Today, I'd like to walk you through how you can manage your BitLocker recovery keys using Level. Let's dive in. First, let's create a custom field to store that BitLocker recovery key. Let's set this to admin only. Okay. Now let's jump over and create an automation to actually manage that key. I'm going to put this in my security group. I'm going to call this manage BitLocker key. I'm not going to worry about the trigger right now. We'll, we'll come back to that. Let's just choose manual. And let's start with just a quick one-liner to get the BitLocker recovery key. So here I have a one-liner that's going to do that. But we want to save this recovery key that we're getting from this one-liner to a variable. So let's create a variable to store that. Let's say BitLocker recovery key. And we're going to assign the output of this command to this variable. I'm just going to name this get BitLocker recovery key. All right. Now we need to take that variable and assign it to the custom field that we made in the first step. So we're going to select that custom field and we're going to set it to the value of that variable. That's it. This, this automation is good to go. Let's test it out and see if it works. So I have a device called BitLocker that's ready to roll for this. So we'll see what happens. All right, this first step should run that command, which should output the BitLocker encryption key. It does. And then the next one is going to save that to the custom field. So let's pull up this device and see. Yep, there we go. This variable has been set. I can copy it to my clipboard and we could recover that device if we needed to. Now let's circle back to this automation. And I want to point out automations can be as simple or as detailed as you need. It's really up to your requirements. So in this case, there's a few problems with this automation. First, what if BitLocker isn't enabled? Should we enable it? Um, second, if it is enabled, should we rotate that BitLocker key for security? Um, and then should we think about doing this on some sort of reoccurring basis? Let's dive in and try to address these problems with this automation. So I'm actually going to create a new step here, and we're going to run a script. I'm going to create a new script for this. And what I want is a script that enables and rotates the BitLocker recovery key. I'm going to give this 200 seconds to run. It, it won't take that long. And here I have a script that does that. Let's kind of go over this just so you can see how it works. But the code for this will be on our GitHub. So first, we're just checking to see if BitLocker is enabled. If BitLocker is off, we're going to try to enable it and save that to save that encryption key to this variable called recovery key. Uh, if there's any errors, we're going to exit with, with an error to indicate that. Then if BitLocker is already enabled, we're going to grab that old key, uh, make sure it's not empty. We're going to create a new key, save that key to the same variable make sure it's not empty, and then make sure we remove any old keys. Again, if there's any errors, we're going to exit. Finally, most importantly, the last action is it's going to write the output to the recovery key. This is either the, the new recovery key if BitLocker wasn't enabled, or it's the rotated one if it was already enabled. So let's create this script. And then just like before, we actually need to, I'm going to say, let's call this enable or rotate BitLocker recovery key. And let's save the output to that variable that we used above. OK, now let's delete this action. And now we have one script that's going to run. And it's going to check if BitLocker is enabled. If it's not, it's going to enable it, save that key. Otherwise, if it is enabled, we're going to rotate that key and output it. Then we're saving the output of that script to a variable, which we're then using to set that custom field. So everything is almost in place here, except we haven't automated this. So to do that, we need to decide what devices do we want to enforce BitLocker on. We could do that by a group or a tag or a script. We could do it in many ways. Uh, for this case, I think let's do it with a tag. So if 
the encrypted tag is applied to a device, which I already have. And let's limit this to Windows. We're going to run this automation. I'm going to give this a name, so encrypted tag applied. So if this tag is applied, this automation is going to run. That's going to get those new devices that, that are coming into our system. And then we also want to handle rotating this on some type of regular basis. So for that, let's do like the last Sunday at 10 a.m. Again, we're going to limit this to just our Windows devices since this is BitLocker. And I also, I don't want to grab all Windows devices. I only want to grab the Windows devices with that encrypted tag for the rotation. So let's name this Rotate BitLocker the Monthly. There we go. Now we have a really solid automation here that handles multiple states. If BitLocker is not enabled, we'll try to enable it. And it also handles rotating keys out on a regular basis. And it saves all those keys to a custom field that we can access at any time on the device. I hope this is helpful. Uh, feel free to reach out to support if you have any questions. Thanks.